This is Henk from Pure Road. Today I'd like to introduce you to my good friend Doswinkel, born in the Netherlands, living in Belgium. I know Dos since 2005. After our first meeting, we did several trips in India and Africa with his wife Betty. Both we have a great passion for photography. Hi everybody, how are you doing? My name is Dos Winkel. Uh, I live in Belgium, not far from Antwerp. I'm an orthopedic physical therapist and uh, 11 years ago I changed my profession completely and I turned into an ocean conservationist. In 30 years of diving, I saw the deterioration of the life in the ocean and in many other ecosystems. And I was so impressed and also sad uh, when I saw that, that I decided to found an organization, an NGO, the Sea First Foundation, exactly 11 years ago. So we teach. With a group of volunteers, we go to schools, primary schools, from the age of nine uh, up to secondary schools and high schools and universities, where we teach about the climate, the ocean and our health. Uh, because our health is very much dependent on uh, the state, the health of the ocean. Only a few people know that because the ocean gives 50% or more even, say some scientists, of all the oxygen that we breathe. So, But the teaching stopped, of course, in these, um, during this corona crisis and we couldn't teach. And normally I gave a lot of lectures to dive clubs and rotary clubs and lion clubs, etc., etc. Those are paid lectures. Uh, the teaching we do for free. I tell you, for me, it was a very useful time because I did three things that I would never have done during my lifetime, probably. I have an archive with all the publications that I did about underwater photography, about everything I saw underwater in all kinds of ecosystems. And I had three piles, maybe 60 centimeters high. It were hundreds of articles and it was not even in a chronological sequence. So it was a mess. And I decided to organize this. This is my cupboard. And I open it and what you see here is all kinds of publications arranged in a chronological order. So that means... The second thing is that we have a nice art collection. We is my wife Bertie and me. And um, it's mainly African art, old African art and uh, Egyptian and uh, Roman art, Roman glass especially. And I have been able to describe and photograph everything now. So that is in perfect order. And that took me also three weeks uh, arrangement. In the meantime, I also started to work in my garden. We have a beautiful garden. And um, normally during these times we are in Spain where I also teach in schools um, but we couldn't leave and we had to stay home which was not a punishment um, our neighbors who are much younger uh, did the shopping for us so everything was perfectly arranged and the the period of uh, end of March April and the first half of May is the most beautiful time of the year. Uh, everything is blooming. We have a Japanese-like garden. So instead of being in Spain, I started to work in the garden. And that was the first time in many years that I did this in this period. And the result is breathtaking. In the meantime, 
as a nature photographer, underwater and nature photographer. I also um, took pictures of uh, a lot of wildlife, among them rats. And the rats come to the fishes when I feed them and they don't eat the fishes, they don't even touch them, they don't frighten them, but they eat the same food as the fishes, they love it. Everybody thinks rats are oh, terrible, but they're cute and they're nice. And uh, as long as there are not too many, it's okay for me. Now we hope that we can soon start teaching again. We lost a lot of income and uh, maybe this is a good occasion to uh, ask you to become uh, a donor of the Seafirst Foundation if you think that our climate is important and our climate is dependent on the health of the ocean, um, that the biodiversity is important, that we are losing an awful lot of forest on land and an awful lot of life in the ocean. If that has, that has to stop, but we can play an important role. See first, but S E A first dot N L or B E or org O R G. According to Das Winkel, life in the ocean is much better off with the Corona crisis than without. This is due to the far less or none tourists on beaches leaving the plastic garbage behind. Most sunscreens are highly toxic for coral pole pies. And so, the less tourists, the better it is for life in the ocean, he claims. Also, there are hardly any divers that can damage the coral reefs. Thank you so much in advance. Stay healthy. And uh, who knows, we may see each other one day. Bye bye.